different car again today. So I am still test driving, even though I've decided I might not actually get a new car right now. But um, this was already pre-booked, so I'm in the Evoque, which is lovely, I have to say. And um, anyway, so I think um, I've just been in, on an appointment for work. I uh, went to see an accountancy in, in Buckinghamshire, and um, they are behind the times to say the least. And they are a classic example of letting the tail wag the dog so they're, ju they're just there is no appetite or there is no urgency for them to feel like they should employ somebody directly to concentrate on improving the efficiencies of their practice even though they know they're in inefficient they know they could be doing loads more they've got problems with staff and recruiting staff because the more mo modern companies are getting the first refusal, including the big giants like KPMG. And um, but even though all of that's going on around them, they're still they're still sat in the 90s and the 80s. Um, and it's, it's it's so common. You've got the old partners and the young partners, and there's a clash as to what to spend the money and time on. And, Everyone's got different agendas and everything else, and uh, it's just it's absolutely classic. Um, and it was just a reminder to me that doing something completely different, so you're not reliant on the traditional way of working. I mean, it's Alex Smale that his uh, video that's out on YouTube talks about we're still working like we were all those years ago, and it's just so not relevant now, and that's absolutely true. Um, and it just makes you makes me feel how lucky and grateful I am that I have the sort of brain that and, and the energy that wants to do something different, that wants, that's not happy with the status quo, that appreciates that, um, you know, the rest of the world hasn't really caught up with actually what's happening in terms of technology changes. Um, so it was just a big reminder that what I'm doing in my spare time is absolutely essential and you know still still in the aftermath of watching Perth um, I was on last night on a website webinar and uh, I had thought about outsourcing my website and I, I've got a couple of SFM uh, members that have emailed me uh, but then when I actually looked into it and started looking at it properly myself and I've done websites myself with WordPress it's not like I've not done it before but I'm just like conscious of the time and I just want everything to be ready now but it's so bloody simple you know in terms of how it's been set up in DBL you know in terms of uh, installing themes and things obviously I'm, I'm going to have to put some level of uh, design and um, content into it but you know SFM DBL it have made it a, yeah thanks mate um, have made it a lot simpler to, to do yourself way more simple than what are you doing? Um, way more simple than when I first logged into WordPress. Was it three years ago, maybe? And I was trying to do it myself. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to say, without rambling on and getting distracted by idiot drivers, that. Um, <clears throat> I hadn't appreciated how simple things were in the back office of DBL. You know, everything is there, and I'd forgotten about the graphic creator and all that sort of stuff. And it's just like, come on, Mel, again, pull your finger out, get get with it. So uh, yeah, I've been really grateful this week for the reminders from um, Perth, the momentum, you know, the enthusiasm. Then there's Jin Ter who's running website webinars, and obviously watching that last night, I was, I was like, oh my god, you know what? I haven't even logged in properly to have a proper look around. So. Um, yeah, all of that great stuff, and, and obviously that's all coming from the community as well as, as the leaders. And um, yeah, there's no time like the present. Let's just get on with it. So that's my message for today in my lovely abode. It is nice, I have to say. See you tomorrow.